Hey everybody, welcome back. I got a mud motor project I just finished up. I'm in town, so hopefully the noise ain't too bad, but I gotta film it where I'm at, right? So let me show you what we got, walk you through it, and I'll do a start up. I'll explain what we got. So, here we go. Alright, hey everybody. What we got here, this is the same lower that the 12 and a half was on. And I have upgraded this since to an 18 horse twin. It's the OL head Briggs. You can see that. Nice big two cylinder engine. And what we've done, cars go by, like I said, I'm in town, forgive me. <laughs> but anyway, got a vacuum pulse pump put on this, I put on. And we've also built a custom intake. One inch pipe. Cut the flanges out and uh, made the intake, welded this up all the way around through here. Used a 90, come out, made another flange for the carburetor that fit it, and then welded it on. And just uh, got the old key hen carburetor, kind of a lot like a Makuni, but anyways, so, oh yeah, someone's got to go by. <laughs> like I said, forgive me, it'll be noisy. But anyway. Custom build intake, 30 millimeter key hen carb, which I actually like over the Makunis. When I did mess with dirt bikes and stuff years ago, I always had better luck with them. Some people probably argue, leave a comment below. That's just a preference. Not good or bad either way, but I like the key hens. And like I said, we made all this. It's got a little basic air filter on it. And like I said, mounted the pulse pump up here. In case anybody wonders how these are work, because they're not labeled. You've got two together, and this one up here on the top is from your vacuum out of your crankcase or valve cover, whichever you want, makes it pulse. And then this one beside it over here is from your fuel tank, which comes around. We've got the brackets that go to that. And then the one here all by itself goes out to the carb. So. If you're just tuning in, I put this together with love joys and made the bracket and the spacers and all that stuff. Quarter inch plate, top and bottom. And we've got that all going, but it's on a Mercury or Force 9915 lower. So, I got hung up there on a rock. But like I said, it's just a factory Force lower, game fisher. One or the other, same thing. But this thing does work good. And I got my key over here. My push button start and my shifter. So, that's what we got. 18 horse plan. Like I said, custom built intake. So hang on, I'll set you up. And we'll give her a start. Hopefully, that works. And it does run a lot better after it warms up, but it does work. Nice and quiet, it's really not that bad. I don't know how it sounds on camera, but it's not too bad. Good. And it'll smooth out and run just smooth as glass once it warms up. There, folks. Four Boy Pro Drive has been upgraded to an 18 horse. Like I said, all on twist throttle. So, got the kill button. Right there on the side. So, hope you like that. We're going to do, I ain't going to have enough time to get to the lake and get it in the water. It's going to be dark. The time I got off work today, but we're going to do a river run of this or lake run. So, stay tuned for the lake run. I'm going to make one here in a few days and then hopefully do some fishing videos with it. But there's going to be a lot of it on here and probably do some upgrades. And see it on the river, lake, we're going to go fishing with it. So, I guess that's it. So, hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. It does help the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's absolutely free. Don't cost nothing. If you do hit that bell. You get notified of all these videos of this motor and everything else I'm doing on this fishing channel. 
So I guess that's it. So as always, like and subscribe. Catch you on the next video. Bye.